Are you the one who took my money that was uh, on the table? No, I didn't see any money on the table. Don't lie, it was right there in front of you. You only have eight years eight left. Eight years left? But why is it upside down? It's just an error, but you have to remember, you can't lie. Because every time you lie, you lose one year of your life and you only have eight years left. What's wrong, sis? Why are you crying? I only have two years left. How many years did you have before? It was on three years and it went down to are two. Are you the one who took mom's money? What? No, I didn't even see mom's money. Wait, they took one year of my life again. Well, if it was reduced again, it means you're lying. You did take mom's money. If you lie again, you die. So I'd be careful if I was you. Amara, we have to break up. Why? Because you only have eight years left and I want to be with someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Fine, it's your loss anyway. Amara, did you know Jake stay in Terra now? He moved on that fast with my best friend. You're not lying to me, are you? If I was lying, you'd be able to see it because one year of my life yeah, would be true. gone. I don't care anyway. Class, this time make sure you don't cheat on the exams. What happens if we cheat, sir? You'll lose that on one year of your life because cheating is the same as lying. Don't worry, sir. I still have a lot of life left, unlike Amara. Why are you even involving me in your conversation? No wonder Jake cheated on her. She only has eight years left. Oh yeah, Amara, because you have eight years left, you have to withdraw your position as class president. But sir, eight years is a long time. No, it's not. Eight years is not enough to be class president. Sorry. I can't believe this. I don't even have any friends anymore. Oh, so you're Amara, right? Huh? How comes you know my name? I met a girl named Sarah earlier. She said you don't have any friends at the school. They don't want to be friends with me because I have eight years left. See, I told you. I wasn't lying. She only has eight years left. Who said she had eight years left? Huh? What do you mean? Of course it's an eight. Can't you see? The number's clearly shown above our head. Okay, tell her to lie about something. Okay, tell her to lie about something. Okay, I'll try to lie about something. If my number's reduced to seven, that means my number was eight before. Yeah, now hurry up and lie. Alex is my boyfriend. Did you just say I'm your boyfriend? I know you're lying again. Alex isn't your boyfriend. He's my future boyfriend. Why didn't her number change? Maybe Alex really is her boyfriend. Why didn't my number change? Even though I lied, it's still an 8. I already told you, Amara. It isn't an 8. That number you have above your head is infinity. Oh, infinity? So you mean my lifespan is unlimited? Right, so no matter how many times you lie, you won't ever lose out on years of your life. Does that mean I can lie as much as I want? Yeah, but I'm just wondering. Out of all lies, why did uh, you lie about being my No girlfriend? reason. I have to go. Bye! Amara, I'm sorry about yesterday. Will you forgive me? Oh, it's okay. I'm not angry. Hey, I made a special drink for you as an apology. Oh, thank you. Why do I feel dizzy? Huh? Why is my remaining time loading? What happened? You drank from Sarah's drink, didn't you? <sighs> yes, I did, Alex. Sarah's trying to take away your remaining life. What? I only have one day left. That means I'm going to die tomorrow. What am I going to do now? Don't give up. You can still take back the rest of your life. Really? I can? How? Before your remaining life was reduced, you never lied, right? I never lied before, except when I said I was Alex's girlfriend. But the rest of my life was infinity, so nothing was reduced. Then make a lie come true. That way, the remaining life that was taken away from you will be given back to you. Does that mean I have to be Alex's girlfriend? You can't be Alex's girlfriend. Why not? Because he's my boyfriend now. Alex? Are you the one who took my money that huh? was on the table? No, I didn't see any money on the table. Don't lie, it was right there in front of you. You only have eight years eight left. Eight years left? But why is it upside down? It's just an error, but you have to remember, you can't lie. Because every time you lie, you lose one year of your life and you only have eight years left. What's wrong, sis? Why are you crying? I only have two years left. How many years did you have before? It was on three years and it went down to are two. Are you the one who took mom's money? What? No, I didn't even see mom's money. Wait, they took one year of my life again. Well, if it was reduced again, it means you're lying. You did take mom's money. If you lie again, you die. So I'd be careful if I was you. Amara, we have to break up. Why? Because you only have eight years left and I want to be with someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Fine, it's your loss anyway. <laughs> Amara, did you know Jake stay in Terra now? He moved on that fast with my best friend. You're not lying to me, are you? If I was lying, you'd be able to see it because one year of my life yeah, would be true. gone. I don't care anyway. 
Class, this time make sure you don't cheat on the exam. What happens if we cheat, sir? You'll lose out on one year of your life because cheating is the same as lying. Don't worry, sir. I still have a lot of life left, unlike Amara. Why are you even involving me in your conversation? No wonder Jake cheated on her. She only has eight years left. Oh yeah, Amara, because you have eight years left, you have to withdraw your position as class president. But sir, eight years is a long time. No, it's not. Eight years is not enough to be class president. Sorry. I can't believe this. I don't even have any friends anymore. Oh, so you're Amara, right? Huh? How come do you know my name? I met a girl named Sarah earlier. She said you don't have any friends at the school. They don't want to be friends with me because I have eight years left. See, I told you. I wasn't lying. She only has eight years left. Who said she had eight years left? Huh? What do you mean? Of course it's an eight. Can't you see? The number's clearly shown above our head. Okay, tell her to lie about something. Okay, tell her to lie about something. Okay, I'll try to lie about something. If my number's reduced to seven, that means my number was eight before. Yeah, now hurry up and lie. Alex is my boyfriend. Did you just say I'm your boyfriend? I know you're lying again. Alex isn't your boyfriend. He's my future boyfriend. Why didn't her number change? Maybe Alex really is her boyfriend. Why didn't my number change? Even though I lied, it's still an eight. I already told you, Amara. It isn't an eight. That number you have above your head is infinity. Oh, infinity? So, you mean my lifespan is unlimited? Right, so no matter how many times you lie, you won't ever lose out on years of your life. Does that mean I can lie as much as I want? Yeah, but I'm just wondering, out of all lies, why would uh, you lie about being my No girlfriend? reason. I have to go. Bye! Amara, I'm sorry about yesterday. Will you forgive me? Oh, it's okay. I'm not angry. Hey, I made a special drink for you, as an apology. Oh, thank you. Why do I feel dizzy? Huh? Why is my remaining time loading? What happened? You drank some Sarah's drink, didn't you? Yes, I did, Alex. Sarah's trying to take away your remaining life. What? I only have one day left? That means I'm gonna die tomorrow. What am I gonna do now? Don't give up. You can still take back the rest of your life. Really? I can? How? Before your remaining life was reduced, you never lied, right? I never lied before, except when I said I was Alex's girlfriend. But the rest of my life was infinity, so nothing was reduced. Then make a lie come true. That way, the remaining life that was taken away from you will be given back to you. Does that mean I have to be Alex's girlfriend? You can't be Alex's girlfriend. Why not? Because he's my boyfriend now. Alex? Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow, when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm going to love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh... Take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will.
Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise. But you do owe me quite a bit of cash. So what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff. But I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10K. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I said. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Dad, can you buy me makeup to cover up my birthmark? Makeup? I don't even know about these things. And anyway, you're too young. Are you being bullied at school because of your birthmark? No. Who made fun of your birthmark? Two girls in my class. Their names are Gemma and Sarah. Is that so? They're just jealous of you, honey, because you were born different. Jealous of me? Okay, thanks, Dad. Kids, for some reason, Sarah and Gemma has been transferred to another school. But before they leave, let's all say bye to them first. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Gemma. This is all your fault, Amara. We hate you. Dad, I'm going to school alone today. Please don't follow me. I'm so proud of you, honey. You're all grown up now. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Why are you wearing a mask, Amara? Because... Take it off. Otherwise, I'll make all the girls at school make fun of you. Anyway, we all know about your bath mask. You're so ugly. I'm gonna send a picture of you to the class group chat. Did you see the picture Emma sent of Amara? Yeah, that birthmark makes her look like a clown and her parents must be so ashamed of her. Hey, you two, don't speak to her like that. Do you want what happened to Sarah and Jamma to happen to you? They only got kicked out of school because Amara told her dad and snitched on them. Who tells you she can't snitch on you too? Just be careful with how you speak to her. Hey, Amara, come here. What is it? Sorry, I was just bored and your face annoys me. Hey, what's wrong with you punching Amara's face like that? Shut up, you might be handsome, but you're really stupid to be friends with that weirdo. Well, at least being handsome is better than being ugly and crazy. I'm gonna report you- Please, no, just don't get involved. Amara, your eye is bruised. What if your dad sees you and finds out you're still being bullied at school? He won't find out. Trust me, you know your dad. He's really rich and very strict. Yes, but he's only rich because he's a mafia boss. What? A mafia boss? Yes, that's why I have to hide this bruise. Because if he finds out, whoever punched me won't be alive anymore. Don't even try hiding that bruise. Tell me who punched you, now. Change face or change stomach with my soulmate? If I choose to change stomach, he might eat something spicy. Then my stomach's gonna hurt. So I'll choose to change face. Huh? In three hours, I'll be swapping faces with my soulmate? That means soon I'll know if he's ugly or beautiful. Amora, I'm so sad. Why? Because I chose to change my face with my soulmate, but what if he's ugly? I chose the same thing, but at least it's better than swapping stomachs. Actually, I'm a bit scared. I wonder what my soulmate's face will look like. Aren't you ashamed of trading face with your soulmate? Your face is so boring. It would look ugly on anyone. I think I should add makeup on before swapping face with my soulmate. That way, he won't think that my face is boring. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> There's five minutes left before I swap my face with my soulmate. Hey, Amara. Oh, hi. I chose to change my face with my soulmate. You also chose to swap your face with your soulmate? Yes, I'll change my face with her in two hours. Two hours? But the time above my head is different than yours. Oh, so you're not my soulmate? I guess not. Okay, time is almost up. It's time for me and my soulmate to swap faces. Three, two, one. It's time for me and my soulmate to switch faces. Three, two, one. Wait, 
I feel like I've seen this face before. Anyway, thank God my soulmate is not ugly. He's kind of handsome. Ryan, please take me out on a date. So his name is Ryan? Don't listen to her. Take me out instead. Why do all the girls like him? Sorry, girls, but I'm not going to cheat on my soulmate. Hey, Ryan, wait, why are you dressed like um, a girl? No reason. Anyway, did you still want to go to gym after school and lift some weights? Your arms look skinny. Gym? Yeah, why not? Hey, Ryan, come here. Yes, sir? Why haven't you been in school for the past five days? Um, I was, uh, sick. Yeah, right. Come with me. I'm giving you a detention for the whole the day. The whole day? But I didn't do anything. I have to quickly find my soulmate so we can switch faces again. Hey, Ryan, there's a girl named Amara. She's looking, She's for, looking me. for me? Where is she? Just down the hall. Okay, distract the teacher while I sneak out of class. Wait, is that how I look like to others? Finally, I got my face back. Hey, I'm Ryan. It's nice to meet you. I'm Amara. Nice to meet you too. It was pretty weird having your face. Everyone thought I was you. Plus, you have like a lot of girls crushing on you. Don't worry about them. I'm surprised we go to the same school, but I've never seen you before. I mean, it is a pretty big school. True. You want to have lunch together? Sure, I'm down. But um, I think you should finish that detention first. Detention? For what? Everyone, remember, do not draw on your face, okay? Because everything you draw on your face will appear on your soulmate's face. Huh? Who would want to draw on their face? Don't be surprised. There's a lot of people who do it. Look at Liam, for example. He's been drawing superheroes on his face for the whole day. Liam, why would you draw on your face? So I can meet my soulmate faster. As soon as I see someone with a superhero drawing on their face, I'll notice them straight away. I would not want to be his soulmate. Why is everyone dying to meet their soulmates? Amara, you really don't want to meet your soulmate soon? No, and besides, I don't believe in soulmates. Look at my parents. They've been married for 24 years and got divorced because my dad cheated on my mom. That's your dad's fault. Look at my parents. They're still together and they're in the 50s. You never know. It's not like your dad's going to tell you if he cheated on your mom. What the heck, Amara? You're so evil. Well, sorry for being honest. Come, Amara, help me draw on my face. I'm not going to draw on your face, Jenny. She's so weird. I feel bad for her soulmate. Honey, how come your friend's face is filled with scribbles? Because she's dying to meet her soulmate, mom. Oh, but how come you don't have anything on your face? Because I don't want a soulmate. I don't want to get cheated on like you. Huh? Jenny? Why would my soulmate write Jenny on his forehead? This is so annoying. I have to cover this. Out of all girls, why would he write Jenny? She's so weird. Leah, how come you still haven't drawn anything on your face like the others? Um, because I'm waiting for you to do it first. Why are you waiting for me? Just go ahead, don't worry about me. It's because I hope you're my soulmate, Amara. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? Yes, he has Jenny written on his forehead. But that's so strange, Jenny's a freaking psychopath. Aiden, why do you have Jenny written on your forehead like that? For the last time, I didn't even write her name. She did it while I fell asleep at basketball practice. We have the same names written on our foreheads. Could that mean we're... Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? I can't believe this. Jenny? Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? Jenny? Your, your forehead clearly has my name on it, and I wrote my no, name wait, on it. No, wait, I can explain. Yesterday. You don't need to explain. Come with me. Leah, please help me. Jenny wants to torture me because she knows Aiden's my soulmate. What? So you're Aiden's soulmate? Yes. Ouch. Help me. Why are you just standing there? You want to know why Leah's just standing there? Because she can't accept the fact that Aiden's your soulmate. Huh? But why? Are you an idiot or are you pretending to be one? It's because she likes you, duh. Really? Yes, Samara. And if I'm not your soulmate, no one else can be your soulmate. Leah, please help me. We've been friends for a long time. I promise if you help me, I'll go on a date with you. We all know you're just lying. Ouch. Where am I? You're up early. Do you like the movie Rapunzel? You must love her. Huh, this Jenny? Tell me where we are now and why am I in handcuffs? So that you don't run away, silly. Yeah, you asked earlier where we are. We're in my family's secret tower in France. I'm in France? Yeah, just take a look outside. It's beautiful, isn't it? Leah, help me. You know my mom will be worried if I don't come home. Don't worry about your mom. I told her the school took us to France as exchange students. And that they confiscated your phone so that she can't call you. Impossible. My mom would never believe that. 
Of course she would. And she did. She would never doubt your childhood friend. Right, Leo? What? We're going to leave now. Because I'm feeling nice, I'll leave you some food and drinks. But it's only going to be enough for a couple of months. You're just going to leave me alone? Yeah, and good luck trying to run away. Access in and out of this tower can what? only be made by a helicopter. Bye. I hope the next time I see you, I see you as a corpse. Okay, Amara, don't panic. I can just ask Aiden for help. Whatever I paint on my face will also appear on his face, right? But I don't have any pen or marker. I can just use my blood. Do you think he'll understand this? Should I draw a picture of a tower too? Maybe it will make it easier for him to find me. I really hope he sees that this is a tower. I'm so tired. <gasps> Do you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. Okay, so all I need to do is wait. It's been three days. How come there's still no sign of help? What if Jenny saw what I wrote on his face and she kidnapped him too? I'm so stupid. I should have never wrote that I needed help. I need to get out of here before I stop to death. Huh? That sounds like a helicopter. Could it be Jenny and Leah again? I have to hide. Gosh, this tower's so tall. Amara, where are you? Who the hell is that? It doesn't sound like Aiden. Maybe Jenna and Leah hide the hitman. I think your tracking device is wrong. There's no way Amara's in a tower like this. But we've traveled all the way to France. Mom? How come my mom is here? Did you hear that? That sounded like Amara. Yes, I did. Let's look for her in that room. Amara, how did you get here? Honey, what crazy kidnapper brought you here? I can't believe you two are here. You really don't know who kidnapped me. I mean, I did suspect Leah when she said the school sent you to France as exchange students. Because you're not smart enough to be sent as an exchange student. And also, they wouldn't send you to France. The school only sends students to Germany. But how did you find me? Remember that gold ring I gave you? I put a tracker inside of it, so if you ever snuck out, I'd know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. Let's get you out of here. So I guess you're my soulmate, huh? Since we have the same writing on our faces. I guess so. What are we going to do about Jenny and Leo? We have to report them to the police. Did you forget they're both rich? I'm sure they can bribe the police and get away with it. Calm down. I have a plan.